respond as we pray together so that the minister himself will be aware that people are following the prayer online. And this is online prayer meeting. This is uh, a conference prayer meeting, which uh, uh, you, I want to hear your voice. I want to hear people praying. I want to hear people saying hallelujah. I hear people saying amen so that we can go along and flourish along as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, we thank you for Calvary. We bless your name because of your presence and power in our midst. We thank you for the death of Jesus. We glorify your name for your love, for your mercy, for your compassion, for your preservation, for your care upon our life. We thank you for the gift of life. And we thank you for Calvary. We thank you for the death of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. We are believing you tonight. You will visit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we pray that every prayer request, every uh, prayer point, we may raise up tonight. May you give us access to your throne. As we have access to your throne, you will answer our prayer request tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Every mountain and every challenges and every power that is contending with anybody tonight, the power of God will crush those power out of our ways and there will be change in our means in Jesus' name. Amen. As we spend some time to pray now, to worship you, to glorify you, your prayer will take over. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to open your mouth and appreciate God and glorify the name of the Lord. Open your mouth, appreciate God. Worship him for who he is. He's the eternal God. Bless the name of the Lord, oh my soul. Worship the Lord. Our God is a good God. Our God is powerful. Our God is great. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the glory due unto his name. He's a living God. He's the eternal God. He's the everlasting God. He's the I am that I am. He's the unbeatable, unreversible, unconquerable. Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Elohim, El Shaddai, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the omnipresent, the omniscient, the omnipotent, the God that never lost any battle, the God that's been in the world before the world began. Ancient of days, Arukwajo, Our God is 
bless you, oh God, and pour the way every seed that was going to enter my prayer. Every seed that was going to enter my supplication tonight. Let the efficacy of the blood of Jesus sanctify me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in your life, and amen will not die in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Before, before we go into tonight's prayer, really, I, I want to just exhort us before we launch into the spirit of prayer. Please. Just follow me and listen to what I'm saying to exhort you. I posted on the platform, we are dealing with evil foundation. That is what we are dealing with, with evil foundation. Tonight's prayer is going to be based on foundation. In Psalm 11, verse 3. Psalm 11, if you have your Bible, open your Bible. In case you don't have, you don't have your Bible, listen to me. As I read the word of God, I will pray together. Psalm 11, verse 3. The Bible says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous foundation can be destroyed. And when the righteous foundation is destroyed, what can he do? The solution for that, he will pray. But you know, in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19, the Bible says, Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge, in the days of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers had inherited lies. Our father had inherited lies. These children of Israel, their forefathers, their ancestors, inherited lies. And those children live in that foundation. They inherit lies. Foundation, if dealing with evil foundation. If you remember very well, in Matthew chapter, chapter 27, when the governor was asking and said unto the Jews, Whither of these two that I will release unto you? Pilate said unto them, What shall I do with Jesus? Who is called Christ? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, why? What evil has he done? But they cry out, the more saying, let him be crucified. Why? Because of the land of the Jesus, open your hand upon the line. Anytime we come to school, they will always intervene, interfere. Any power that holding the line come on the side of the line. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. It's the next one. Okay, that, as I continue, I'm saying that we are dealing with an uh, evil foundation. Anything in life that must stand must have a root. It must have a certain point. The basic point upon which any building, house, rests upon is called foundation. Foundation is very vital to every building because it has the determination of, of us to stabilize. The foundation of anything is always costly. It can be neither good foundation or a bad foundation. As we see in Matthew chapter 24, verse 27, the effect of a bad foundation can be very terrible. 
the foundation of a building determines the height it can reach. So also, a man's foundation determines the level he will reach in life. The environment aspect of life, we can lay foundation. This includes spirituality, emotionally, physically, socially, polit politically, biologically, and so on and so forth. We must learn to destroy the evil foundation that has been laid by our ancestors, by our father, which had a lot to say in our lives and family. And we have more starting laying good foundation for our future because the foundation of our life determines what happens after what in our lifetime. There are many battles to be fought in this world. As soon as we are born into this world, the battle began. Became. In Job chapter 14, the Bible tells us that the life of a man is few but full of trouble. Your foundation contributes also to the kind of challenges that you may counter. What do we refer to as foundation? Foundation is the context may be traced down to your roots, your origin, your background, where you come from. Everyone in this earth has a trace for where you hey. come out from. Today, we shall be praying again evil foundation for someone coming from a lineage where there we are idol worshiper the battle is going to be tough because if you do not deep research you may find out that the lineage of that family may be tied to that foundation which hinder them from breaking forth and breaking through and manifest their future which God has ordained for them. A clear example from the Bible mm -hmm. on this topic is that evil foundation that we see in the life of Gideon. <coughs> There's no time to read that now. Power from his father's idol. Get all of him bonded. Evil foundation, evil eyes, evil forces are caused by our forefather who we are ignorant of the truth. At the point in time, they may think they are doing the right thing, but obviously, of the fact that they are committing the foundation of their household to a foundation that is not solid. Today, we are praying, and we are going to pray against out all sorts of evil foundation that has been laid. And whatever evil foundation you have inherited tonight, would demolish all those evil foundation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Chapter 15, verse 13. Jesus said, he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out. You are going to pray in your life. You are going to call upon the Lord. Every plant that is not planted in my heavenly father oh lord root it out of my foundation every plant that has not been planted by my heavenly oh, father oh, that is bringing me backwards bringing set back into my life troubling my life troubling my marriage troubling my hope oh lord of pray pray against every plant troubling of your foundation Every plant which your heavenly father has not planted, open your mouth and pray the power of the cross will root out those plants out of your life. Oh, I want to hear you pray tonight. Whatever God has not planted in your life, in your foundation, let the hand of God root it out. Pray and call upon the Lord. The night prayer is going to release you from every wrong foundation. The night prayer is going to deliver you from every foundation that is God has God has God for you for you that is going against your life. The spirit of God, the power of God will root out all the people out. In Jesus' name, we pray. Every the Bible says, and your covenant with them shall be dishonored. 
and your agreement oh god O oh God, put it down. O oh God, put it down. By your power, put it down. By the blood of Jesus, put it down. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, put it down. Every plant my holy father has not planted. Made by your ancestors that is now disturbing, troubling your family, troubling your life. The Bible says your covenant is there shall be dishonored, and your agreement is there shall not stand. Whatever Every false foundation in my life and generation with the blood of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, repair every faulty foundation. Every agreement made on your behalf. Every agreement made by the ancestors. Call on God in my life. In my family, in my church, be destroyed. What are the rights of be destroyed. We pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. There are some family, they inherit bondage. There are some home, they inherit sickness. There are some people, they inherit setback. In fact, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 19, the Bible says, Oh Lord, my strength and my fortress, my refuge, in the days of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, as I say, surely our Father have inherit lies. Our father have inherit lies. You don't know what your ancestor have inherit on your behalf. And they transfer that into your life. You are going to pray tonight. Every inheritance of bondage that has been that is moving from one generation to another generation in my in my family. Oh my God, break the bondage. Whatever bondage I have inherited from my ancestors, that is going from home to home, from family to one family, your brother, he has it, your sister, he's going like that, he's going like that, that the power of God oh will break inheritance bondage. Whatever bondage you inherited, whatever bondage you have inherited, and it's, and it's working bondage. against your life, it's working against your soul, it's working against your family, call upon the Lord. Bondage, may God destroy it. These people say, Our father has inherited lies. What is the bondage your ancestors inherit? Your fathers are inherited. Where did you ask the Lord to destroy those bondages of your life? And the poor God would have those bondage. The bondage of sickness, God will take it away. The bondage of affliction, God will take it away. The bondage of barrenness, your, your sister married five years, no child, or not marry again, two years, no child, barrenness, three sisters married to different homes, and they are, they, are, they are all barren. That is bondage of barrenness. Our father has inherited lies, and they are so inherited barrenness. So inherit failure. Whatever you inherit from your ancestors, as the law to destroy every evil thing you inherited, as the law to crush out every evil thing you inherited, our fathers have inherited lies. Pray tonight, everything you have inherited from your ancestors, from your father, and it transforms your life, even though you say you are born again. If the right, if the foundation of the righteous is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Everything you inherited from your fathers, from your ancestors, let the power of God destroy every evil bondage, everything you have inherited, call upon the Lord. Freedom tonight, we are dealing with evil foundation. Evil foundation, we are destroying every evil foundation. Call upon the Lord. In the name of Jesus, call upon the Lord. Whatever you have inherited in your family, your sister has it, they pass it to you, that your uncle has it, your brother has it, and it's like it's going from one family to the other family. It's going from one home to the other way. In the extended family, it's a circle. It's a circle. Whatever you have inherited from your ancestors, 
and your sister will die, and then your body, all will die, and then your body, this one die, and then your body. In the name of Jesus, God, in the precious bondage. Father, I Whatever you have in the bondage from your ancestor, ask the Lord to break every bondage to any heritage. Ask the Lord to break all the bondage. Let it be broken. Let it be corrupted. In the name of Jesus, my Father, be who God is the foundation. Ask the Lord to destroy every bondage. I don't wish for the foundation. I don't wish for which kind of foundation. We are dealing with evil bondage. Oh, we are God, my Father, every foundation, every war, every war, every every foundation, our fathers are playing. They keep their dreams. Just let me pray. Listen to me. I want you to understand this prayer point. Every prayer point we give is scriptural. And I will be backing my, my prayer with the Bible reference to know that it's scriptural. There was a particular family. They have four daughters. The first one married at the age of 40. The second one married at the age of 39. The other one married at the age of 42. And the last one married at the age of 43. Can you imagine? Oh. 39, 40, 42, 43. They oh. marry late. That is a bondage. Hey, 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 hey. Those, 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 those lady inherit from their father's house. That's uh -huh. a bondage. You are going to pray. These people say in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19, they said, Surely our father has inherit lies. You are going to pray. Whatever bondage I inherit from my ancestors, to my father, to my father's house, oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Destroy them. 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 Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer very well. Because if you can watch this, most of the post day prayer meeting, I am coming up with different things of deliverance. And by the grace of God, I spend some time of prayer before I come to before I come to challenge you. So therefore, you don't know the day of your visitation. Pray as the Lord is leading us so that you will be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, no man can enter into a strong man's house and squeeze goods except he first bind the strong man and then That's he squeeze goods. The strong man. You're going to pray. Every strong man or strong woman from my foundation sent to monitor and to hinder my progress. Oh God, destroy them. I bind them. You will bind every strong man and bind every strong woman from your foundation sent to monitor and to hinder your progress. Commanded, commanded, bind them. Overthrow them. As you bind them, overthrow them. Whatsoever you bind on them shall be bind in heaven. No man enter into a strong man out and squares who is there for the strong man. The strong man. The Whatever they use to monitor to hinder your progress in the name of Jesus. I bind them, bind them, and overthrow them. Pray to the power 
Let's commit away and control thy soul, thy captivity. We are turned from passion of body. Whatever captivity of bondage of particular power, captivity of particular power.
for the Lord your God who will fight for you. The Bible says, For the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemy. You are going to put that prayer again. Oh Lord, arise and fight every battle of darkness against my life. Pray. against us, which was contrary to us, taking it out of the way and nailing it to the cross. We are going to pray. But we arise in his anger and crush every invisible enemy and power sponsoring failure and setback in your life. You are going to call upon the Lord. God will block it out. He will crush every invisible enemy and power Sorry, failure and setback in your life. Oh, hold upon the law. Every power, possibly failure, every power, every setback, every power, blot out the handwrite of all masses. Oh, no. Out of your life. Ask the Lord to call us out of your destiny. Ask the Lord to call us out of your power. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray. Amen. If you are in the worship service on Sunday, you heard what Jesus said that a praying church is a powerful church. A That's praying right. believer is a powerful believer. And he said, there are people who quench prayer, who try to reorganize the church again. And he put a warning to those people. Exactly. If they did not repent, he said, mm -hmm. God will kill them. And the GS said that if they do not repent, mm -hmm. and then they ought to continue what they are doing. And the GS said that if they, if they ought to kill the church, God will kill them before they kill the church. He said That's it right. openly. Hey, he, mm -hmm. said it, he said it openly. So therefore, you are going to pray. Any power of personality that is troubling your life and they know the evil assignment they have from the kingdom of darkness, if they fail to repent, ask the Lord to deal with them. Open and pray and follow for the Lord. Mighty Father, if they fail to repent, ask God to deal with them. Holy God, 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 Come 
that I just need to stop here at this time to call Pastor Matthew. Pastor Matthew, please, sorry. Over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, by the grace of the Lord, I want to appreciate every one of us, and I want to remind us that uh, we should be, do not forget to keep reminding people because of the um, TCK now, we are having a lot of time, and people are getting uh i don't want to use forgetting but god will continue to help us in jesus name Amen. Uh, many of us we are able to uh, attend what we, we need and people are praying for us i don't know if there's anybody today again that want to humble himself and tell the people what he want god to do for him as far i do not I've, I've, i do not see new names on the line but in case there is anybody that have one or the other, yeah? I have prayer request for a family. Okay, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The prayer is about the, the post you must, uh, for those who are my friend on Facebook, they must have seen. This last weekend was a very traumatic weekend for for me and for as many that are close to the the two girls that died last week. We lost uh, two girls last week, or two sisters rather. Not my family member, but they are close to us and they are church members. And they are close to me. For one is close to me very well. What happened is that they were traveling and I was supposed to join that bus. But I decided not to go for the traditional marriage. I didn't even know when they left because my mind was not there. So I felt that we attend only the wedding and not go for the traditional marriage. So they were traveling to a boarding state. It was in Enugu. The person who drove the, the bus, and it was DSTF bus, uh, our bus in the states here, in the Delta state. So the brother who drove the bus is in a critical condition, but I had told by me. And the... Uh, they encounter a robber, but they escape the robber. But before they knew it, they met whether it was a pothole they met or they were trying to navigate the pothole. To cut a long story short, it was they were on high speed. The the sister who was going to get married, the young girl, about 20, she should be around 23, 24. She goes there by name. And these children have lost their father and mother. Just young children. There are four of them. But three were in the bus, in that bus. The eldest was coming from Ibadan to come and join them. That one is serving there. Why, Why the second at university? She finished very well that the young girl, even though no children. And uh, that's the girl that died that Thursday. And our traditional marriage was Friday. Wow. She died. Then the, the chief vice mate too died. Ah. In fact, the chief vice mate died before her. And the ah. uh, this thing I'm telling you, overseers, not just one overseer or two or three, or overseers are aware. It's a very critical problem, critical issue. And now the prayer point, oh this, this is the prayer point. There are three children left now, no father, no mother. And now this girl that is rising star, she just got job with Zenith Bank, she just tried to die. And all that, even doing business, supply, he came to my house, supply me something only for life for the first shot, a day before a traditional marriage. So I concluded, some of us have concluded that there's something wrong with that family. There's something wrong with the altar. So every demonic altar, that's why the prayer point and the prayer that Pastor Ali is raising tonight. You know, many of our people in the, in the church, deeper life and all that, 
when when you raise some prayer point, like they just feel that because we are holiness church, we should not pray some prayer, and we are asking enemy to do this and all of. There is a book that says stop them there before they. Oh we are going to pray whatever altar that is erected against these children and the family that God should yes. destroy this altar. The other children that are left, nothing will happen to them. One of them now mm -hmm. had a dislocation. They, they dislocation in her leg. But the one that is to marry now is the one that died. It, it's amazing. Their last one was hey. inside the house. Nothing happened to him. Just maybe a minor this thing. We want to pray that God will deliver that family. That's my prayer point. Thank you, sir. Amen. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, there are one thing that is very uh, specific that it comes to my mind since I move closer to uh, Pastor Yomi. I've been hearing a lot of things about data state. Uh, they are rich in everything, and they, uh, I won't deceive you, they are facing a lot of persecution both spiritually when you move to pass or you and then you are talking together you see there's a lot of challenges in data state so not only that we are going to pray for this family alone uh we are, we going, are going to, going to, to for data data state too, too. by the by grace of that and i want pastor uh so please, please lead the two prayer then pastor ali will conclude Praise the Lord. Ah, ah somebody, somebody said, hello. 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 Please, somebody said you need a uh, ask prayer in great. I think that's mama. Okay. Re say this, sir. Uh, say this, ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, once God's in, I need a God intervention because I'm passing through challenges here. Uh, I've been diagnosed for breast cancer. Oh. And I'm taking treatment right now. Actually, yesterday I took a chemotherapy treatment. So I need prayers for uh, deliverance and, and restoration. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the, Pastor Marigay, did you hear the prayer request? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, Terry, uh, the sister that close talked to me, if some of you are very close to me, uh, that talk. Uh, uh, you uh, must have known. Uh, 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 I will I'm not deceive every one of us. This is the sister from Canada. I must have been talk to, uh, talking about uh, to some of us that are close to me. This sister Yabo. Uh, we have been together since Bauchi, by the grace of the Lord. And then uh, she has breast cancer. But by the grace of the Lord, God has been taking care of her to the extent that uh, the point of the of the situation is now that the blood cancer cannot spread, but the one that started it, the uh, the medical team, they wanted to die totally, so that there will not be traces of the breast cancer uh, uh, in her again. So that's what we are praying. It's in the lungs. It's in the lungs. It's in the lungs. Okay. Okay, so but yeah, it is uh, it is not spreading. Okay. Yeah, it's not spreading. Okay. Praise God for that. Okay. So I uh, I think he, he will have joined us directly, but because maybe he doesn't know how to join. So you have had the prayer request, uh, Pastor Marige. Is this still online? Yes. I know. Yes, sir. Pastor. Okay. So for data stage, for the family, which is the uh, prayer, uh, the prayer part of today, and then our sister Yabo, uh, the breast, uh, the lung cancer. So, please, and the breast, uh, and the breast. both the lung and the. So uh, looking for the baby on the breast. Okay, so so offer to you, sir. Then Pastor Ali will conclude for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Unite our feet together. Thus saith the Lord. Thou shalt decree a thing, That's and right. it shall be established unto you. That's right. That is the word of God, and the word of God cannot be broken. Uh -huh. We want to pray for all these prayer requests. 
who want to tell the Lord, who go tea ako for jury, on sin on sin and on sin personality, especially in that family, swallowing young glories. Oh God! Oh God! Very vital, and also in addition, be pray for your family, be pray for yourself as well. That any power, physical or spiritual, as far against you and your family, if they fail to repent, God will judge them. Amen. God will judge them. Amen. Father, we thank you because all power belongs to you. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. The God of all strength, of all power, of all revelation, we bow before you. We commit the request of our family to your hand, which the enemy wants to wipe away a whole generation. A whole generation. They want to sweep a whole generation away from our family. We say no. Amen. And we pray by your mighty power that we will ever behind this, physically or, or spiritually, if he or, he or she fail to repent and make restitution, we pray, may judgment began suddenly 
right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible Amen. says, when thy judgment is upon the earth, thy people will let righteousness. Therefore, I stand in your word and I pray once again, whoever behind it, I decree, because when your judgment is upon the earth, they will let righteousness. I pray, may you begin to execute judgment upon the people and the demons and the forces and, the, and those behind it, physically or spiritually, begin to execute judgment upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And somebody wants to the whole generation. Wedding Saturday is there on Friday. Mm. And mother died, father died, but why the whole be part of the generation? There are only three or four that remain in that family. Mm. Ah, Papa, I pray for, for the, those the remnant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Raise up helpers. Raise up sponsors yeah. that we take your those children in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For Sister Yabo in Canada, we have decreed that cancer, breast cancer, lungs in the breast, I command in the name of Jesus. Dry up in Jesus' right. name. Amen. Amen. The Bible Amen. says, Every plant whose my heavenly father has not planted, it shall be uprooted. I stand in your word and I decree every breast cancer in the lunch, in the breast, wherever I command in the name of Jesus, be uprooted out in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for Sister Yabo right now from tonight. I pray. Began to gather, began to regain yourself back. Amen. Amen. Healing, complete healing in your breast, and every cancer dry up. We recover right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I also pray for Mr. Yabo. Please, after this prayer, still go back for shako because the Lord is going to work on our behalf. And you will come back and share testimony. I decree. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone tonight, this prayer, conquer this prayer, order this prayer house. I pray for every woman of God that has participated on this prayer online. Father, I pray. Everyone will go from grace to grace, from power to power, from strength to strength. Any will not prevail over any of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I will send the uh, pastor. You have uh, uh, pardon me. I will send the number to Pastor Ali. So that okay, the, sure. the, the, uh, the yes, pastors um, continue to pray for him. Yes. I mean, for us. Yes, yes. So, thank you. Uh, God will take over the better state in Jesus' name. And by the power Amen. and the blood of Jesus Christ, they are, they are, the joy of the Lord will be their strength in Jesus' name. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's share this grace together. Mm -hmm. so the grace of the Lord. The Lord and the of the Holy Spirit be with the Lord the Lord and the Lord and the Lord and the Lord the Lord the 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 Lord the the Lord Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Hello.
And Lord, I pray that you will please from heaven take it away. You will please from heaven have mercy. You will please from heaven forgive. In the name of Jesus. If there are things I need to make right, if there are things I need to set apart, if there are things I need to just overlook, Lord Jesus, point my attention to that. I am willing. I am willing for instruction. And I am willing to obey in the name of Jesus. Please, I don't want anything to hinder my prayer today. I don't want anything to be a barrier to my prayer today. Therefore, Father, help me. Therefore, Father, help me. In the name of Jesus. I need help in place of prayer. I need courage in place of prayer. I need energy in place of prayer. I need courage. I need courage. I need the prayer line. Condemned. He took your sin. I am not giving up. I am not giving in. I am not frustrated. I am not doing things because I know what you can do. I know my God can do. I know there is no impossibility with Jesus. Therefore, Father, I present my self before in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Father, I present myself before the one. Can answer, he can do, he can make do, he can fight, he can defeat, he can defend. Lord, I start my prayer today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have said amen, then say louder amen. Amen. I tell you tonight will be a night of power. This moment, this season. This is 4th of July, a, a month to reunite yourself with God, a month to rededicate yourself to God, a month of blessing, a month of answers to prayer, a season of refreshing and uh, a, a time to retreat. And we, we want to pray now and tell the Lord that, Lord, this month, make this month my own month. Open your mouth and pray. You That's want right. God to embed miracle into this month. You want God to embed deliverance into this month. Open your mouth now and declare. How do you want that month to be like for you? A new month with Jesus. A new day. A new beginning. Remember ye not the former thing. Remember ye not the former thing. Remember ye not the pain of the past. Remember ye not the time of the Jesus. Remember ye not the time of the past. It was his finish by the Anything that want to be an obstruction. So, of God, of our prayer to heaven today, 
Lord, we pray you take it away in the name of Jesus. Amen. For every evil ears that hear, and every evil eyes that see, a monitoring power. And Lord, we, we, we cast a trench around them, and we throw them inside prison in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, have access to our prayer today. Thank Amen. you, Father. In Thank Jesus you, Lord. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Stopping satanic activity through Christ's authority. When you talk about satanic activity, you talk about failure. When you talk about uh, satanic activity, you talk about prayerlessness. When you talk of satanic activity, you begin to see mysterious things happening. You begin to see strange things happening. Different things that does not follow a uh, uh, routine. Sicknesses. Uh, then you will hear about sickness, the sickness that has no cure. You begin to see people promising but failing. You, be, you see yourself laying your hands on something and it's not working. You see people having desire and purpose, but it's not working out. You see people trying to make progress, but at a particular point, they are not moving beyond, be, 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 beyond that line. And you want to ask yourself, what is happening? This is a satanic activity. And that's and why, that's why so today, we want to stop them before they put us to a, stop, a shock. In the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 9, 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 9, in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 9 says, But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. The key point here is, but they shall proceed no further. Let me tell you something. I don't know what activity is going on in your house. I don't know what activity is going on in your business. I don't know what activity is going on in your home, in your climate, in your foundation, in your church. Tonight, that activity must stop. Amen. And it will stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 When you even believe that, yes, this time is my time, the kind of amen you will say will definitely bring you that kind of expected faith. And when amen. you look at it like, well, God will do it, I believe it. Amen. I hope you know that amen is different from amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me assume it was the next one because I did not hear a powerful amen. Somebody give me a louder amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. In the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 9. But they shall proceed no further. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men. That is to say, all their secret things, all their secret deeds will be manifest to all men. Let me, let me quickly give you an instance. You know, there was a man who took all the money, all the pension, all this, everything he had. He took that money and he established a business. But when the enemy saw that business, they sat down on that business to make sure that that business will not prosper. And this man has been praying. He has wondered what is really happening. This season, the man prayed like he had never prayed before. 
and he prayed violently. May I tell you something? Those people that covered that business, those people that say that business will not prosper, do you also know that it is the same people that went ahead now to begin to call people, please come and buy, please come and buy. I tell you, for everyone that are sitting on your glory, that, 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 that kept it somewhere, you know, you have looked for it. Where is this thing kept? Where is this thing kept? The, the same enemy that kept that thing under your wardrobe, under your bed, the same enemy that has put that thing in hiding will be the same enemy that will bring it out. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want you to bow down your head and pray. And I want you to pray this prayer. Tell the Lord. That any power that wants to stand against my prayer today, I destroy them by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth now and begin to pray. In charge of your ability, in charge of your environment, 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 in charge